Liberals possess merely 5% of the truth. There are a few things they are right on. Conservatives, on the other hand, possess 30% of the truth. Radicals possess 100%. That is why, my friends, I don't vote for the Republicans or the Democrats. I refuse to vote for them. On occasion, there are members of those parties that have promised and that are on our team, though they may not be labeled as such. E.G. Ron Paul. I'm a maverick, so I can't consider myself a liberal or conservative. Most people out there have to identify everything as liberal or conservative. I'm a big third party guy, and my position is third parties are so awesome. There's no excuse to vote for the Democrats or the Republicans. No matter what your political ideology is, there's a third party out there for you. If you're conservative, there's parties like the Constitution Party. If you're socialist, there's plenty of parties for you. There's the Socialist Party USA, there's Socialist Workers Party, Socialist Labor Party, on and on. If you're communist, there's communist parties as well. Sadly, the Communist Party USA has grown very lame. They don't field candidates anymore these days, it seems. And they even say vote for the Democrats. Fucking dumbasses. If you're a libertarian, there's a libertarian party. If you are liberal, hey, there's a green party. There's billions of other parties. There's even parties for Nazis and far-right wing people. So there is no fucking excuse to vote for the two parties. Of course, you'll say, blah, 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 the, the third parties can't win. It is true, third parties have a much harder time to win. It's a very difficult thing indeed. I've had people tell me that in this state of Minnesota. One thing that really makes me proud to live in Minnesota is we had a third party governor. Yes. A few years ago, we had a third party governor. Jesse, the body, was in there. A lot of people got offended by him. Not me. I liked what he had to say. I was glad he was there. Of course, I don't agree with everything he said. I don't agree with everything he did. But I love what he did. And he showed that third parties can win. I was talking to one liberal professor when I was at Mankato, the university there, and she said... Third parties will never win. And I said, but we had a third party governor. Of course, liberals can't concede a point like that. It would never happen at a national level. We need to show them that that can happen at a national level. I'd love it to happen. Just like it, when it happened here, it blew people away. Let it happen at a national level. Why would you have to be content for 5% of the truth or 30% of the truth? I believe the sky is the limit. I believe it's possible third parties can win. A lot of the candidates in the third parties currently aren't the type of people who are going to galvanize a lot of voters. Ralph Nader, bless his heart, has a lot of great positions and done a lot of great activist things but he's not the type that's going to galvanize a lot of voters unfortunately some people say Ralph was great until he ran for president The great, one of the greatest things he ever did his entire life was running for president and he got Al Gore out good job Nader you got Al Gore out there who probably holds the distinction of being the only major political candidate to pose with the Phelps family of Westboro Baptist Church. A third party can win. There's been so many 
unthinkable things that has happened in the human experience. A third party winning seems unlikely, but folks, it can happen. A lot of people voted for Barack Obama because they wanted a black president in there. It seemed like people would accept anyone. I wish Connie Rice would have ran because people probably would have voted for her. Or would have they? It would have been interesting to find out. And guess what? If you want a black president, that's perfectly fine. I believe we need a black president, but just not Barack Obama, for crying out loud. There was a third party that had a black woman run. The Green Party. Folks, whatever your motivation for voting for the Democrats or Republicans, I hope you can find a reason to vote for a third party. I'm a big third party guy. You can't go wrong voting for a third party. I had a hard time deciding which candidate to vote for in the last election. I didn't even consider voting for Barack Obama or McCain. I didn't really get too fascinated about many of the third party candidates either. I voted for Roger Calario. Now a lot of people have this stupid notion that if you don't like Barack Obama, you're racist. I don't choose my candidates based on their race. I think it's great when we have more diversity in politics, but I'm not going to choose somebody just because they are of a certain race. I didn't choose Roger Calario because he's Latino. It's great if we had a Latino president. I'd be all for that. But that's not the reason I chose him. I chose him because he's a third party guy. Vote third party people. Vote third party. Vote third party. Fuck the Democrats. Fuck the Republicans. We don't need those people. 